And Chinese President Xi Jinping will welcome African leaders to Beijing this week. This comes at a time when the budget is focused, it's reduced, and a better idea of what China wants in return. Greater profits, fewer problems. China exerted unrivaled influence by building hydropower projects, highways, and rail connections throughout the continent. It took almost a decade and over $120 billion in government-backed loans from China's Belt and Road Initiative, BRI. This effort extended to Angola, to Djibouti. By maintaining these ties, Beijing was able to channel its pent-up industrial potential and secure access to minerals and energy. However, suspicions of debt traps, exploitation and corruption accompanied the infrastructure and diplomacy. These claims were further strengthened when three African nations failed, leading to extensive restructuring in recent years. An incomplete $3.8 billion railway in Kenya, which terminates in a desolate grassland, seems to personify the broken promise of the BRI. Even with all those issues, the fact that a slew of African heads of state are making their way to Beijing for the ninth forum on China-Africa cooperation, which begins on Wednesday, proves that China is still the most powerful economic force for the African continent. Presidents Bola Amatinubu of Nigeria, Paul Kagame of Rwanda and Cyril Ramaphosa of South Africa are set to attend the summit. This is the largest diplomatic event she is holding this year and the first summit of its kind in Beijing since 2018. The current twist is that she is redirecting the country's attention to less transparent public-private partnerships. This is in hopes that they can provide better results while avoiding greater responsibility in the event of failure. China became the largest bilateral creditor to Africa in 2016 with loans ranging from $98.7 million in 2000 to a peak of $28.8 billion. Those numbers fell in the years that followed until after the pandemic and then rose again to $4.6 billion last year. Countries like the UAE, Saudi Arabia and Qatar filled some of the void left by China's reduced loans in recent years. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.